Hello there viewers, so let's continue with our topics and today I'm going to teach you how to draw a, a fraction graph, right? This graph is a bit complicated. <laughs> yeah, it's a, we call it a reciprocal graph. And as you can see here, there's two asymptotes where y equals to 0 and x equals to 0. And you need to remember that 1 over 0 is an error, so that's why you can uh, have it over here. Okay, and for the domain, I can write down as all real numbers where x is not equal to 0, or you can simply write it down this way, negative infinity until 0, open union of a 0 until infinity, remember it's open bracket, y is an open over here because it never reached 0. And same goes for the range, it goes here, either you can write down as all real numbers or where y is not equal to 0, and negative infinity until 0, union of 0 until infinity. And where it consists all of them are open record because you can never reach them. Okay, firstly you can never reach infinity and the asymptote is at zero for both x and y. Ah, uh, what the heck is that sir? Alright, so let's try a few things. Okay, so let's try and have a look on case by case where we just take a look on the positive parts. Uh, just on this particular part, right? So when I divide by zero until infinity, alright, so the least... I mean, the most common case is 1 over 1, this is the, the least understandable case, 1 over 1 is 1. Now, if I divide by a big number, 1 over 10, I get 0 0.1, 1 over 100, 0 0.01, 1 over 1000, I get 0 0.01. So, the number get small. So, we can say it's approaching 0. Okay. For this one here, let's go this way, divided by 0 0.1, 10, 0 0.01, 100, and we got, the numbers got bigger and bigger. So, I can say this is what we got. Alright. So when divided one divided by zero point zero until one the decimals is y is approaching to infinity. But remember that our x cannot be zero, so that's why we got ourselves x the asymptote x equals to equals to zero. One over one is one, okay. But when one divided by x is bigger than one until infinity you can say. Uh, y is approaching zero because you're dividing by a big number. And we can see here the asymptote y equals to zero. And that's how you got this kind of graph on that side. Okay? Okay, so far you have learned for this one here. Now what happens if there's a negative at the uh, x? Remember this all three <laughs> questions where ne negative is at x, negative at 1, or negative just plainly outside. They are the same graph. Okay, there is interchangeable between all of them. They give you the same results. The graph will, instead of here, it switch place. It goes there. If you ask me how I memorize it out, well, I actually memorize this way. Uh, well, if you know, we draw our linear graph, y equals to x. So this way, so in this two quadrant. So if I want to draw y equals to negative x, so it goes for this quadrant. So it shares here and there. So yeah, that's how you're going to memorize it out. Okay. So far we have done... <laughs> A simple example. The reason why I don't really like this one because I need to teach you something else. Let's have a look. Okay, uh, I hope I am not going to lose you here. <laughs> because in this case, there are x above and x on top. x at numerator and x at denominator. There are two ways on how to solve. One is the formal method and one is an informal method. The formal method is actually is by using the limit technique. I'm not going to teach you directly here because it's going to take a long time. You know, I expect you to watch it more in limit videos, which is chapter 8, if I'm not mistaken. Where if there's both x, we're going to multiply with 1 over x, 1 over x. So we can simplify things out. Over here, you got 1 over x, 1 over x, uh, 4 over x. And x approaching to infinity. If 1 divided by infinity, I get myself 0. If 4 divided by infinity, I get myself 0. So 2 over 1, 2. So as you can see here, the asymptote for y, it increases to y equals to 2. Okay, the previous example, the asymptote for y remains the same. This one is shifted up. Alright, for this one, by, don't forget the denominator, check where x not equals to 
where denominator not equals to zero. So we got myself x equals to four. But the main idea is it's shifted up. Okay, now for the informal method. Oh, I accidentally show it to you. It's a lecturer's secret. Bear with me. <laughs> Okay, now you're about to see one of the best secrets of mathematics among all the lecturers. Okay, uh, normally we don't do what I just did to you just now with the limit method, unless if it's uh, required for marks. If you just ask me, hey sir, how do you sketch? From a glance, I can say uh, the asymptote y equals to 2. Not because I memorize, but because I do it this way. Can Firstly, before I continue, <laughs> let me tell you, do not write, just can, lecturers just look at it and, oh, the asymptote is y equals to 2. That's what we normally say. Okay, the, because the working steps are not accepted in exams. And I'm going to show you these secrets. And once you know these secrets, my secrets is your secrets, it's our secret. Shh, don't tell the people. I'm serious. Okay, alright, so we substitute. We let x equals to infinity and we substitute inside the equation there. Right to infinity plus one, infinity minus four, four. And what happened if yeah, uh, kind of reveal the graph. But never mind. Let's, let's concentrate where it matters. Uh two infinity plus one. Infinity plus one, what happened? Well, uh, it just remain as two infinity. Infinity minus four just remain as infinity. Because infinity is just two big plus one minus four, it's not gonna do anything. Now infinity and infinity, I can simplify it out. Boom boom which leave me 2, which the asymptote equals to 2. And yeah, we got our graph as quickly as possible. Normally, I just put my mind... Okay, normally we don't write this one down. I just put in my brain, I mean, I just look in my mind's eye. 2 infinity plus 1, 2 infinity, infinity minus 4, infinity, infinity, infinity cross, or 2. I got this one straight away. Yeah, that's the lecturer secret. <laughs> Don't trust me, go and ask your lecturers. Okay, but remember, you cannot do it in exams. Remember, remember, <laughs> you need to do the limit method. It's just one of the cool ways to know a secret. Okay, now you might ask me, sir, why it cannot be accepted in exams? Well, it's because I put infinity in the calculation, which that's why we cannot. These are invalid steps. Okay, in exams, not in exams. Why? Why? Why can't you do that? Well, we are running out of time and please watch this video when it's done. What happened when infinity exists in our world? Things gone. Yeah. Alright, that's all for thank you for watching. Please comment, share and subscribe and please leave the comment down below. I'll be answering your question if you have any. Okay? And watch for this video when it's been released. I'll put in the description once it's done but wait until then. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye.